Hi, this is Lee G. Kushner for this edition of In the News, a program which, not surprisingly perhaps, brings you topics of interest that are in the news. God, how this reporter loves saying in the news. The topic of tonight's segment is the over used, emotionally incendiary, vacuous, meaningless usage, overusage of the term conflated. Politicians do this during congressional browbeatings of witnesses that are helpless because they have to testify, and there's a senator and they can't get their wits about them because this uh, rep- House of Repre- this U.S. representative usually is, is screaming at them at the top of his, you know, his or her lungs. And the squad is famous for this kind of empty-headed, moronic imbecility. You know? Like Ilhan Omar and Alejandro Ocasio-Cortez. You know, I have never seen, except in one case, my sister-in-law, a woman with a hyphenated name who is not an overbearing pain in the butt cracks. And Alejandra's proof of this connection, this inverse relationship between the usage of emotionally explosive tactics, browbeating, And, on the other hand, the lack of intelligence, none shall provide a better example than Alejandra Ocasio-Cortez. And except for Ilhan Omar, there's a dum-dum. But, I mean, like the whole thing, like, as if she understands black people and people of low socioeconomic Status. She had this actual sincere interview where she claimed that wolf packs exist because people can't feed themselves and they have no other way to do it than to haul out entire inventories of a freaking clothing store, uh, electronics, you know, TVs and not because of moral bankruptcy and the fact that corrupt county DAs have removed every felony there is so that they can save budget and put it in their fat pockets. But the word conflate is uh, part of this. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm sick of hearing this. It's not like I'm starting to get sick of it. It's like conflate. It's got those hard consonants. Con. Oh, here's the exp- the F, like you, you know, con and the hard A. There's a vowel there, but it's hard. Conflate. How dare you? That's another incendiary term. How dare you? Conflate. My reduced private member size with my need for extravagant shows of ego. How dare you conflate the two? And, you know, people, when they use that term, politicians are trying to get reelected by using that term and, 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 and getting in as much ham time exposure time in the House of Representatives, just beating the bejesus out of poor witnesses. You know, it's like, do you conflate? I've asked you this question. I'm not going to ask it again. It's either yes or no. Are you conflating your inaction in stopping Catholic priests from being invaded by the FBI and thereby their religion, freedom of religion, invaded uh, with regard to matters that should have been 
uh, relegate with, held within the bounds of confidentiality with parishioners. Are you conflating those? Answer me. I, you can avoid the question as much as you want, but you're still conflating uh, a lack of uh, answer with an admission of guilt. And that's what the, the whole thing is, you know? It's such electioneering stunts, but the, the whole thing is to try and establish, illegitimately establish a point that you're trying to make to get your, your selfish butt reelected. Even though you've done nothing, it creates a false appearance that you have done everything, you know, by establishing, you know, pseudo establishment of certain premises which are not true um, by using, misusing the word conflate, like, you know, along these lines, as a statement rather than a question. I'm not trying to conflate your being gay with being obnoxious, but it's a matter of established fact that during that gay pride parade, you people hurled a number of injurious stones at deputy sheriffs who were part of the parade in their float. I'm not trying to conflate that that demonstrably huge flatus that just blew out of your butt, your anal orifice, with the most repulsive, toxic, noxious, disgusting, rudely foisted abomination ever created on earth. But I have spent the last 10 minutes vomiting, retching, and uh, being completely and totally incoherently nauseous. And that concludes this report uh, on conflation uh, and I'm coming out with a new this report. I've had a brilliant idea to make money. I'm counting. I'm count coming out with a new uh, type of candy called conflationaries. No sugar. Completely non-sugared up, straight, hard to the core, harsh, pungent herbal candies. This concludes this segment of In the News. See you next time.